turning now to mental health news. And if you even think you might need an appointment, you might want to start that process right away. That's because there's a major shortage of workers in the mental health industry. Our Emma Henderson explains. I think it's important to begin the process as soon as you can, because sometimes the wait can be months, unfortunately. Uh, the more imminent and dangerous the risk, the more immediate the response. These are licensed psychologist Dan Flannery's suggestions if you're beginning to seek mental health care. Over the past several years, demand has soared for providers, including 70 percent alone in 2021, according to the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services. You know, we've seen a significant increase in people reaching out uh, for mental health support over the last couple of years with COVID in particular with the stresses and strains related to economic disadvantage and disparities. And when it comes to the stigma around asking for help, Flannery has this message. My message would be that these are not unusual feelings when they get in the way of daily functioning and can't get out of bed and don't feel like interacting with people and uh, don't get up and go to work if you have a job that you go to or can't take care of a family member. This is when it becomes problematic and there is help available. Now, this is advice for seeking care, but if you're in a mental health crisis, Flannery says it's important to get yourself immediate care, including heading to that emergency room if you need to do that, Laura. A really important story for all of us. All right, Emma, thanks.